So one of the most important factors for your success in the placement process is going to be your organization skills. Now, most sources at the very start will tell you to make a really big spreadsheet and keep all your opportunities and roles and contacts in that spreadsheet. But in my view, that's really inefficient. It looks terrible and it is actually quite restrictive in what you can accomplish. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can much more effectively and proactively keep track of your placement process with the help of Notion. Okay, so if you don't have Notion already, you can hop into your browser, go to notion.so, head over to download, and there you go, download for your operating system. Uh, sign up, it's all free, etc. Links are in the description for all of this. Um, you only need the personal plan to be able to do this, uh, which is free. So, once you've done that, you can head over to Notion, and I am going to go through this whole thing, but essentially, the key point is that everything links together. When you're using a spreadsheet and like Word documents and files to, to organize your placement process, quite often you'll find that you've got data inconsistencies. So one thing will say you're at a certain stage in the process and another thing will say you're not. Um, you'll have, you know, the the wrong contact information in one place as opposed to another and everything just gets messy. So the really powerful thing about this is that everything's consistent throughout. And in fact, everything links together. Um, so you'll see as you change one thing, everything changes and it's all accessible in one place. So, oh, by the way, um, this will be linked in the description to duplicate. So Notion allows you to duplicate different themes and templates and stuff. Um, so all you're gonna have to do is literally click the link in the description and duplicate this worksheet. It is editable from that point, it's completely yours. Like you can change everything, change the icons, whatever, and obviously input your own, your own placement information. So let's get started. Um, right so we'll start with the main job list kind of kind of spreadsheet but it's really not a spreadsheet it's more of a database so just as you normally would you've got your your company name your role title your salary your location your interests, etc and as you're entering these i'll show you in the inbox section um all of this is automatically updated then you've got contact details you've got kicker so what kicker means to me is um, for each role, I tried to do something that made me stand out. So for some roles, I'd make like a bespoke website because I do a bit of web design. Um, and that really kind of like puts you ahead of the crowd. Um, so I, I've put in this that for every single one, I have to put at least one kicker. Um, and then you've got your task relevant to that specific role. You've got the level your the level you're at. So if you're at you know um, video interview, if you're at assessment center, etc. Then you've got the next level, um, and then you've got like the date of the next stage. So if you've got an assessment center coming up, you you put your date in there, uh, and then you've got just a checkbox followed on LinkedIn. Now this is the easiest thing to do, but it it's like why would you not do it? It, it takes two seconds to follow the company on LinkedIn, um, and it just it, w it could save you an awkward moment later on, um, to say the least. So, now you've seen the, the job list page and now everything's gonna start to come together because when we go into the task list page, you'll see that it all links back to the company name, right? Then you've got your task, you've got whether it's done or not, and the, this is all interactive. You've got the due date of the task, you've got whether it's high priority. Now, high priority for me isn't whether it's due in like one or two days, right? Um, I would just say that that's due soon. Um, high priority for me is when you've got someone personally waiting on you. So for instance, you might have someone from HR waiting for a an adjusted CV from you. Um, at that point, you're no longer just a number. You're, you're not a statistic anymore. You're actually holding someone up, right? So that's what I would class as high priority um, then you've got the expected duration uh, and then the accessibility now this one's really important because you can filter it and and uh, notion has a, a mobile app by the way so you can go on your phone 
and check out what tasks can be done from your phone. So if you're on the train, on the bus, whatever, you can you can stay productive um, without needing your laptop, right? And you can know exactly what you can get done. For instance, like emailing people back, you can just do that from your phone. Um, finally, you've got the contact list. So the this will hold all your contacts for each different company. And it doesn't just need to be one company. You can have multiple contacts for each company, um, but it lists their role, their prefer, uh, like preferred um, method of contact, their phone number, their email, their office hours, because, oh, and if they're a primary contact as well. This is really important because um, you can have some contacts that will prefer to be called, you, you know, um, called over the phone, but say they're only in the office nine to five, Monday to Thursday. Um, you can have some people that prefer to only deal with emails um, and, and some recruiters even text. Um, so if you keep track of who you can contact in what way, it can be really helpful for your, your synergy and just making sure you don't you know, text a, an old fashioned recruiter that hates, hates using their mobile number. Um, now, this is where it all comes together. So you've got an inbox section, right? And this is where you add new, um, new anything really. So the, the first one is a new opportunity, right? So let's say I've, I've just found a role at Netflix. It's a digital marketing role. Uh, the salary is 20K, fair enough. Uh, location, let's say it's in Luton. So that makes a new location for me. My interest is, let's say five, it's Netflix. Uh, kicker, let's say I made a film for them, so it creates that, right? Level level completed, let's say that I've only registered my interest, I haven't actually sent off a CV or anything. Now, a link, again, um, so so with the with the link, it I think it's really important to keep track of like the, the live, um, advertisement of the placement role so you you need to get a link from somewhere that isn't going to change quite often and it happened to me i copied links from places like target connect but the problem with that is that once the advertisement ends so i.e the, the deadline for the role arrives quite often they, it just disappears from the system and you could be halfway through an application process and really struggle to find the job description which is very useful the salary the location benefits etc and it is so frustrating so i've made it mandatory to put the link for the role in there and one that won't change so preferably one from the recruiter itself um perhaps on their website or something like that or even a few links like this isn't restrictive at all you can put as many down as you want and then finally the followed on LinkedIn section. Now this is a checkbox that it, it just, why would you not, why would you not do it? Um, I think I've already mentioned that. But as soon as you click that, it's gonna go straight into your main tables. Bosh, right? Um, and that, that just serves that purpose really, but you can always, yeah, you know, it's, it's just good to follow them on LinkedIn. Anyway. Next is the new task part. So again, I'll just do a quick uh, demonstration. Let's do email HR. You can do that from your phone. Uh, oh, I mistyped there. You can do that from your phone. Due date, let's say it's due in two days. Uh, it's high priority because someone's waiting on me uh, and the company I'm doing it for is, is Tesla. Let's just say that. Bosh. Again, straight into the task list and into the job list as well. If I go over to Tesla now, See where it says email HR right here? That's what I just created. So the next section you've got is the new contact section. So let's just say we've got John Smith who works at Tesla and his email is johnsmith at email.com. His office hours, he only works Mondays, um, 5 to 9 p.m bit weird but okay um phone number random phone number preferred contact method let's say he prefers email is he my primary contact for the position yes um and what is his role as well so let's say he's a, a recruiter as soon as i put that in that goes straight into the contact list as well so let's look for john smith 
and there you go everything ready there now this final section is where it all comes together because everything's linked and integrates with each other um, and references each other you can do some really interesting things so this is the dashboard and honestly this should, will just make your life so much easier right so in here we've got a few different things we've got assessments this week so you've got a video interview coming up in in five days that all will appear here and you'll be able to see you know the company name what level it's for etc tasks due soon so ta any tasks that are due within the next week will come up here so again you can you can prioritize your time high priority tasks these are things that you want to get done basically instantly um they will also appear here and now we've got two more so we've got the progress section now this is a kanban board i think that's how you say it um and this is where you can basically like monitor your progress um so let's say i completed my initial application for tesla and they accepted me for psychometric testing i can drag that across and see there how it's updated to psychometric testing and if i go over to tesla here that's the level we've completed so you can kind of see how everything links together um and the same for for all of these it's all very intuitive of course you can go back etc um not that you would go back in the process but anyway um and then finally you've got the all assessment date se section where you can see you know all of your um assessments on a calendar view you can go you know next month etc and everything is just organized in one place it just makes everything so much easier now you might be wondering what about like things that aren't quite as simple as you know location etc uh, let's go back to job list so if you're preparing for a video interview or an assessment center or something like that and you want to make notes etc but you still want to keep everything tied in the same place um, for synergy and organization reasons this is where it just gets so much better so you come over to company name and you can actually open it as its own page so if you click open here for PayPal it opens up gives you all of the information right at the top all the stuff that you've been you've been adding over time you added at the start the link to the job description and all that all of that in one place and then you can oh I've, I've done this in another demo but I'll, I'll delete this for now but you can create notes at the very bottom so I'll, I'll open this up as a page scroll down and I can go you know presentation script and in here I can put my script and that is referenced throughout the entire thing so I can come into you know I can come into PayPal um, and it, it's still there it stays and this might be a little bit daunting for new Notion users, but inside of this page, inside of PayPal, I can create another page. So just, just watch as I do. So let's say we want to call this assessment center preparation, right? And let's say, uh, I don't know, group project prep. Um, and I've just added an icon. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but look, if we go back to PayPal up the top here and scroll down, that is now a page within PayPal. So you can keep all of the notes for each company within their own section, all organized inside the hub and just everything where you need it in one place. So that pretty much sums it up. And honestly, there's so much more that you can do. Um, each of these, you can add like a different view, you can go down to, you know, you can change it to a list format. And then you can change what properties show up. So you can have like your contact info show up, you can have your interest, you could sort it um, based on the interest that you have in the role, interest descending, and that will, you know, prioritize the more interesting roles. Um, so there really is just unlimited possibility with this unlimited potential. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that or appreciated the, um, the template. I'll, I'll make sure to link it down in the description. If you do want to go and check out how to make one yourself from scratch, um, search up Kaihi, I think Kaihi, Kaihi, um, 
he is a notion expert and he'll walk you through how all of this works so that you can create one that's tailored to you but i think that this will work for any placement role any uh, any placement process sorry any graduate process graduate application process um and i think it's got pretty much everything you could need in here if you've got any other ideas for it do let me know although i have finish the placement process now so I, I won't be using this um anymore but yeah so yeah that that pretty much sums everything up so thanks for watching uh like comment subscribe helps me out any constructive feedback would be greatly appreciated if you like how i've edited this together if you like how i've presented it then let me know if you don't like it let me know even more um because really I'm, I'm just trying to trying to improve and um and grow as a channel and, and offer as much value as possible and, and that's what this video has been all about so i'll catch you in the next one